it is Zamber. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video and deciding to watch me. Today we're back more Husband Hotel. We are watching season one, episode two, Radio Kill the Video Star. It was so hard not to sing that sing songy. I am very excited to watch it because I as well keep in mind to support the official release of Husband Hotel over on Amazon Prime Video. And of course, if you guys want to watch my full length reactions, you can do that by checking out my Patreon page. Link down in the description below. All four episodes are over there right now. But without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the extermination is coming in six months uh -huh. instead of a year. Yeah. No big deal, just a little setback. Yeah. Nothing we can't handle, just angels cutting our timetable in half, but who needs a whole year to save souls, am I right? <sighs> People are already freaking out about the news. Look at what's happening in the Doomsday District. <gasps> uh... What is a donkey show? Oh, yeah, uh, nothing. My boss, Val, is just freaked out about the news, too. Like I said, everyone's losing oh. their shit. Yeah, sinners are desperate. Maybe desperate enough to try anything to escape the extermination. <gasps> this is the perfect time to recruit more sinners for the hotel! Yes! Are you really gonna go out in all of this? Well, it's not like people are just going to show up on our doorstep. <gasps> oh, or maybe... Tens Alistair, come and face it! Oh, hi. Uh, there you are. Face my wrath! Who are you? Uh. Honestly, I am a little very gag. Who am I? I am the great serpent, inventor, uh -huh. architect of this... Destruction, villain extraordinaire! Ooh, I love that you can just stick with boss? his shadow. That's so cool. Ooh, he's a bad boy. Oh. <laughs> I love Nifty just being like, bad boy! Like, <laughs> no wonder I adore her character already. He's so cute and adorable. I relate. And I didn't even realize that was uh, Kimco Glenn, which is fantastic. Hopefully I'm saying her name right. It's been a little bit. But uh, she was in Waitress. Uh, singing the when he sees me, I want it. Like, oh, I just, I know everybody in this cast is so talented, but like, like, I just, I'm trying not to look up too much, like, about the show or about the cast because I don't want to spoil things. And so, if I didn't immediately recognize the name, I just tried not to like look too much into it. But oh, I'm, oh, I'm gushing, absolutely gushing, like. I, as a musical theater kid, a nerd, I am just like ogling at all the talent that is here in present and just allowing us to just get these wonderfully talented people in and just having them all under one roof. So cool. So I, I just, I can't stop gushing and I'm not going to stop gushing and I'm just so excited. <laughs> Well, if all that's true, you'd think I'd have heard of you. I attacked you literally last week. We've oh. done battle like 20 times. Well, you must have been really bad at this. Silence! Oh, no! no power! For when I've slain you, Good. the almighty beings will finally slaying. acknowledge me as their equal. Ooh. Wait, who are the beasts? Oh, nobody important. <laughs> Don't be Don't fucking do rude. Are you kidding me? Vox Tech. Trust us. <laughs> Trust us. Oh. Trust us. <laughs> wow. We are really <laughs> now that's a lot of good television. <laughs> Hello there, Velvet. How are you this hellish morning? A pack of shit books. I need you up here now. What the fuck is going on in here on this day? Oh, uh, yeah, here I go, Valentino. Just another fucking day with Val. <laughs> hey, 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 fuck my life. <laughs> I feel that so much. Mr. Box, Mr. Box, Box over here. Mr. Box. Mr. Box, what are your thoughts on the new extermination deadline? My dear people, we at Vox Tech Enterprises have always been at the forefront of innovation. Vox Tech Angelic Security is coming soon. Wow. Trust us with your safety. Oh. <laughs> when did we begin working on Angelic Security? Ah. 30 seconds ago. Try to get that bitch Carmilla on the books and cancel all my appointments today. I have a fire to put out upstairs. Huh. Oh, that's so cool. You travel through electricity? Bro, why does everyone move so cool? Wrist ruffles? Is it 1750? 
burn it like the witches who wore it. <laughs> oh, Velvet, I can see you're busy. Tell me, where's our hot-headed friend now? Up in his tower, waiting for a flat-faced prince to calm him down. Oh. <sighs> No, no, hideous, I want to die. Ew, yes, that's the one. That looks you. like you have everything under control here. Of course I do, fuck you. Now, shoo, take care of the piss baby. Okay, I love Velvet. <laughs> take care of the piss baby. <laughs> I adore her. Fucking finally. Oh, hey. Can you believe what that piece of shit did? The ungrateful whore. Um, which whore are we talking about this time? Fucking angel dust! Who the hell else would I be talking about? That fucking slut walked out on me. Me! I fucking made him! He thinks he can run off and shack up with Lucifer's bimbo daughter. Angel is mm. living with Lucifer's daughter now? Yeah, that bitch, Chalky or Chandler, or I don't know, something... <laughs> Chalky Chandler! This makes me look sexier. <laughs> what are you doing, Val? Oh, boy. You're not going over there. I'm going to fuck everyone in that rancid shithole, I swear oh. to God. Oh. <laughs> think about it. Our brand is perfection. And what I do you think him. chasing whores around town will do for our image? Uh, fuck it up? Right. Do you want people thinking you can't control your employees? Ooh. I really wanted to shoot someone. Well, let me call up the lowest earners this month. Oh, you know me too well. Oh. <laughs> huh. It's kind of intimidating finally seeing Valentino, because, like, we saw Valentino in the Addict music video, like, back in the day. But now getting to see Valentino, it's... It's intimidating. Like, there's so much that, like, we know as, like, viewers who have kind of seen the pilot, things like that, followed it. So it's kind of scary. And we definitely know that, like, Angel Dust probably shouldn't come back. Like, it's probably for the better that Angel Dust stays away. And so I'm, I'm scared for when they're going to reveal that more intimidating side to Valentino. Because, like, yeah, you can be like, haha, guns, I'm going to go shoot him up. But like, you know, that's just hell, baby. That's just hell. We need to get to the real fucked up shit, you know? So, oh, I'm, I'm just, I'm loving this all. You know, Angel isn't the only one spending time at this ratty hotel with the devil's princesa. Oh, who else is there? The radio demon is there. <laughs> what did you just say? You heard me. Alistair came back. And he is with Lucifer's daughter. And that Ooh. wasn't the first fucking thing you told me! Oh my god. I'm in love with this character. That's so cool. Also, I love that the radio demon and like our TV demon have beef with each other. <laughs> That's hilarious. Thanks for another forgettable experience. <laughs> Thank you for letting your guard down. Oh. And shit. Well, it looks as though I need a visit to the tailor. Best of luck, chums. We need a wall. Of course. Can't let my new project fall into disrepair already. What would the paper say? Oh. <laughs> hey, sweet. Honey, that is not what that is not the job they're doing. They're laying a different kind of pipe, okay? That fucker is back! Yeah, I thought he was gone for good too. It's been seven years! You still oh, pissed, he almost beat song, you that- Song, song, song? Welcome home. I'm gonna make you wish that you'd stayed gone. Say hello to a new status quo. Everyone knows that look there's up a brand the voice new actor is, cause I'm, I'm in love. Their performance is so amazing. Top of the hour, and we're discussing a certain has been who has been spotted cavorting around town for a seven year absence. Did anybody miss him? Did anybody notice? More on tonight's program. So the radio demon is back in town. Why is he hanging around? What does that mean for your family? Well, Handley, I've got good news. He's a loser, a fossil, and I don't mean to sound hostile, but the demon is a coward. Oh my god, this is so catchy. Hell's been better since he split. Where's he been? Who gives a shit? Salutations. Good to be back on the air. Yes, I know it's been a while since someone with style treated oh, hell to a crap. broadcast. Stand up for choice. What a dated voice. Is Vox 
as strong as he or horse, or is it based on his support? He'd be powerless without the other me. Oh, please. And he is the sugar on the cream. He asked me to join his team. Oh, no. I said no, and now he's busy. That's the tea. <laughs> yes, queen, spill the fucking tea. <laughs> your signal uh oh oh my god that was so much fun i didn't realize it's christian borel i i oh my gosh he, he's emmett he's emmett in legally bond the musical oh my god no wonder i adore him so much i i didn't like super look at everybody who's gonna be in the cast because i didn't really want spoilers or anything like that uh just because of some of the main names like jeremy jordan <laughs> but oh my god he's no wonder no wonder god everybody is so talented in this cast it is literally unbelievable so no wonder i am falling just instantly in love with vox even though vox is like i mean well technically nobody is a good person because we're in hell besides charlie i think charlie's probably one of the few people but oh my god i love i love i love the vocal work so much like uh i'm just like fully believing this very charismatic you know tv headed character just everything is so well done and there is this absolute shift from like episode one to episode two episode two it is exactly what i thought was going to happen we are hitting the ground and we are going now that we have established the main point of has been hotel and what we are aiming towards and now we can get all of these other characters who we really didn't get to see in the pilot finally come in and i'm i'm instantly in love with vox i'm over the moon the absolute just character work that is happening here and the sass levels the glitchiness happening i am so enthralled with this character and just this instant rivalry between Alistair and Vox. I'm I am in it. I'm I'm here. What were we doing though? Let's be saying you wish that I'd stay gone. Tune on in. Status quo oh will God. know its race is run. That's terrifying. Oh, this will <laughs> be be scared. Fun. <laughs> yeah. oh my god the animation for alistair is so terrifying to watch like ooh, it gives me like the heebie-jeebies i get nervous but i'm very excited i don't know off the top of my head alistair's va uh i believe his name is amir I don't know him or recognize anything that he would be in that I have watched per se. Um, but incredible work. Like, uh, this being my first, um, <sighs> this being my first impression of him as a VA already shows incredible work and just so good especially with the song and just coming in there after being all spooky wooky with the voice and of course there's a lot of voice effects added over it as well but it's incredible i'm i'm so impressed by everybody in this team i cannot stress it enough we have yeah, a problem alistair is getting close to little princess morning star so our main concern now is ensuring that no deal is ever struck between lucifer's brat and that smiling freak. We need someone who Little Miss Bleeding Heart would take in. I employ every down on their luck loser this side of hell. Who the fuck is left? Huh. I think I have just the one. Ooh. Oh Why, no. hello, my dear. <gasps> wait, wait, wait. Hi, sweetie. I come in peace. What are you doing here? Welcome to our home of healing, our resort of restoration, our- Are you fucking nuts? This chump was trying to kill us like yeah. literally six hours ago. And now you want to bring him in here to live with us? It is a little weird. 
This place is about second chances, and who deserves one more than this? Slithery, slippery, special little man. <laughs> special little man. Welcome to the Hasbin Hotel. Oh, no, darling, thank you. You won't regret this. We're gonna regret it. I'm just so excited to have our first real guest. Uh, what the hell am I then? Well, you're an important part of our family here, Angel. But you, um, uh... Constantly make us look bad, sexually harass the staff, and have literally never once tried to improve? What she means yeah. is it's just nice to have someone interested for once. Aw, sweetie. Bad boy is back! <gasps> Never leave me again. We're about 80% sure she's harmless and over- I fucking love her. Absolutely in love with her. You've met our newest guest, Sir Pentius. <laughs> ah, yes. You're the one who ruined my coat. I definitely remember you now. Oh, no. We are going to play a little game. Everyone, follow me. My name is Charlie. I like to sing. Uh -huh. And when we get to know each other, it's the greatest thing! Great! My name's Sir Pentius. I like to build. And despite my stupid egg boys, I think I'm very skilled. Oh, good! This is stupid. Yeah. I'm a bad man on the streets who never got enough hugs. Now, where's an innocent kid oh I can God. sell crack to? For role playing? It'll make you cool like me. The crackhead. <laughs> is this the dare program? This is pretty extreme. If you'll excuse me, I'm off to not have sexual intercourse before marriage. Oh. Yes! Oh, bravo! Bravo! <laughs> well, Penches, at this rate, you'll be redeemed in no time. Great. I. I'm going to bed. Oh, we're getting the angel buff stuff. Oh, we're gonna get into it. No. Proud of you, Sir Prentice. That was amazing. Thank that was you. You Thank you. Today. You like me. You really like me. Aww. I feel bad for Angel. Is this where we're gonna get Angel's story coming in a bit more? Yes, please. Angel, baby, come home. It's not the same without you oh, here. Really I really miss you. Something. Come back. <laughs> Angel, you bitch! Yep. If you don't come home, you will be fucking greasy truckers for the next year! Hey, amorcito, I didn't mean to yell. Oh, the gaslighting. <laughs> Attic trash like you doesn't change. <laughs> I'll see you soon, baby. Sorry. Not now, fat nuggets. <laughs> oh. Huh? Hello? Apprentice? What you doing? You slippery little shit. I don't know what you're talking about. Whore bug. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, no, now, now it's gonna look like Angel's just beating. Ugh. God damn it. This little bitch is a traitor. Preposterous. Oh. I would never betray you. Oh, look at their little outfits. They look so cute. Then explain Anywhere. this. <laughs> oh, wow, you're just leaving? Wait, you were caught? It hasn't even been a day! Please, you've got to get me out of here! I can't believe we thought you could handle even something this simple. And do us a favor. If they don't tell you, go ahead and do it yourself! Just make it quick, I guess. Not that I deserve it. Gladly. Uh, Wait. Peggy, chill. Penches. Sir Penches is cute. I'm adoring him. Again, Alex is doing a phenomenal job in vocal work. I think that's probably the, along with the animation, I do like the animation, but I do think the vocal work is where everything is shining here. It is a stunning example of great voice over work, which I think has definitely been coming to light a lot more. I know the boy in the heron, um, Robert Patterson got huge kudos for his work there. And I'm hoping that this will be another shiny beacon to others about incredible vocal work and getting into those characters 
and truly bringing them to life and it does seem that like everybody who is on this cast enjoys the show and took it seriously granted many of them are theater kids so <laughs> you know they understand character work they're going to be the ones who give it their all which is great for a musical tv show so Sir Pentris is just just a little baby and I love him like <laughs> he's so goofy <laughs> and like he's just he's just trying his best to be evil <laughs> and it's it's not going so well for him <laughs> but he's trying and that's what matters I think I don't know <laughs> It starts with sorry. Aww. That's your foot in the door. One simple sorry. I don't deserve your amnesty. Can't we just kill him? Shoot him and spill his blood? That's an option you could choose. It works for us. Mm. What's going on? <laughs> this is so extra. So musical. Oh, hi, honey. I hated that song. Oh. Why are you so lame? Not a bad boy. <laughs> Good first day. Let's get some rest. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. You'll have to try harder than that next time, old pal. <laughs> <laughs> That's spooky. I liked it, I liked it, I liked it. All right, so episode two absolutely blew me away. I think it is such a good idea that they had episode one and two for early access because episode two really shows us the kookiness, the dark tones, and the overall back and forth of where we're going to be going in the show that not everything is going to center around charlie which i think is important because while i do love charlie i think she's adorable she's kind of like this star butterfly character where if we are around her for too long it kind of gets a little mary sue esky i love her but i get it can be a little bit hard to always have this very positive character when we are supposed to be in hell. So having us kind of take a break from her, feel kind of the Alistair, Sir uh, Pentius stuff, and then going to Valentino, Velvet, and Fox, getting this kind of information going and setting up our world, now that we kind of set up our why and what we're doing, we are kind of have more of this time to get into the world, the other players who are out there and having their hand in things, and kind of how they come into play into our story of trying to redeem sinners. So very fun and oh my gosh, I cannot stress enough just how amazing it was going into kind of Vox's story. I uh, love Velvet, she's a bitch, yas queen. Uh, but I love how we just kind of like slid into things and then slowly working our way into the conflict of the radio demon versus the TV screen demon. TV, television demon? I don't really know like what you want to call Vox. But it's so cool to see that just kind of effortlessly going. Of course, I was sitting there like song, 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 song. <laughs> like really getting into it. And the song did not disappoint. Oh my gosh, it was incredible. That's probably my favorite song so far. I kind of hope it's already on Spotify because I definitely want to listen to it. It's very fun. Uh, it gave me, it gave me the vibes of like the new Spirited. It's not new. It came out uh, two years ago now, but the Spirited movie with Will Ferrell and Ryan Reynolds, it kind of makes me think of like that Christmas tree song. And I love that. Uh, it kind of gets that dun 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 like, Really just going and booking it. Very theater esque which I adored it so much. Very fantastic, very fun. Um, and then allowing us to kind of understand Angel's character and how Angel kind of comes into play here. That Angel does not want to go back to Valentino. B 
be over there in the Vox kind of like emporium, if I'm going to call it something. Because obviously, as we learn by the end of it, Valentino is very abusive, very uh, gaslighting, you know, being like, sorry, didn't mean to say that, you bitch, like, get back here, like, huh, oh, didn't mean to blow up, huh, oh, if you just come back here, I wouldn't have to do that, woo, just crazy without ya, ha ha ha, all these signs, it is a bad situation, very abusive, not good, so it makes sense for Angel to want to stay somewhere else, to get away from that, and I feel like they did a very good job of showing that without explicitly saying it getting those phone calls or voice messages as you say and seeing hearing them um i did not look over but we did see a little bit of the text messages at the start too which did not look friendly whatsoever they were all one-sided from valentino um they did a great job of showing that kind of mental tax and abuse um from a partner and i love that we have that representation and we are able to show it and then also the um we saw kind of the smoke coming around doing its little flicky thing which shows just kind of the mental hold that valentino has on angel dust um kind of representing that fear in angel dust to you know fail to have to come back you know and grovel at valentino's feet so very very well done um i really really think episode two knocked it out of the park i think we really understood what's happening now we have a, another guest at the hotel in the cute little like sorry song was adorable i liked it and of course i really like the part where they're like or we can murder him <laughs> and she's like that's a choice <laughs> like it was very silly but i really enjoyed it uh so as of right now we only have these two episodes i say that because i'm watching episode two before the 19th as of when youtube is watching this you all know that three and four are out I will be very excited to watch them to see where the story is going to go and what other music we have in store for us, especially because I know eventually we get Jeremy Jordan and I'll never stop fangirling about that. So sorry, <laughs> I'm so excited for Jeremy Jordan. Oh, such a fangirl, such a fangirl. But overall, I love this episode. I would probably give this episode like an eight out of 10 if I was putting it on a scale. I think it did really good about getting me invested in this rivalry between our radio demon and television. Um, it got me interested in the goofy character <laughs> of Sir Pentius and understanding what is happening there <laughs> and that goofiness while also allowing me to sympathize for Angel Dust and kind of seeing a bit of Angel Dust struggles with seeing somebody else kind of get praised and affection and angel dust is like well I'm, I'm doing the same goofy ass shit that like they're doing i don't understand why i'm not getting like the same praise like seeing that kind of hurt and hopefully turning into this want to also be praised and you know have that like friendship as well it seems that longing for that attention too so i'm so excited and hopeful that the rest of the show is going to do great because I believe it's eight episodes in total. And so, you know, we're, 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 we're already in it. So I'm excited to see where it's going to go, what's going to happen and where we will leave off this season. I would assume we will probably stop right before the next extermination or mom will come back Lilith will like come back those are my two speculations for how like the season's going to end so we'll see what happens but overall i had such a fun time watching this with you all i hope you guys did as well this was such a treat to finally get to watch a has been hotel after waiting all these four years the team did such an amazing job and i cannot wait to see what else they have for us so 
Thank you guys so much for watching this with me again. Please support the official release of the show over on Prime Video. And of course, if you want to see my full reactions to episodes one, two, three, and four, and all the rest when they come out, you can do that by checking out my Patreon page. Link down the description below. It really does help support the channel. And I will see you all later. Bye.